Yama yama everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rather Be Crazy Than Dumb. My name is Rani Green, also known as I Am The Glitch. And before I jump in, I just want to quickly say thank you so much to everybody who has shown me some love and some support on my podcast. I really, really appreciate it. Everything is just, it doesn't go unnoticed. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. So it would really mean a lot if you liked, comment, subscribed, shared, whatever, whatever platform this is out on, if you could just show it some love, I'd be really appreciative of that. So with that out of the way, I am going to talk about some crazy stuff on today's episode. So if you're not very woo-woo, if you don't really know what's going on, just just hold on, all right? Hold on for the ride because it's going to be a fucking journey. And I didn't really know how I wanted to share this with everyone. I didn't know if I wanted to do like a podcast or a reel or, or not even share it at all because it is... Um, I'm still processing it, to be honest. It's, yeah, it's, it's, um, I'm like, what do I even take from this? You know? So I'd actually love to know everybody's thoughts on this. Um, if you've listened to the whole thing, I would love to know what your perception and what you take from this and what you, what meaning that you find out of this and what you think that the universe or the matrix or whatever, whatever message that they were, it was trying to send me. So today's episode is... The Matrix hijacked my dreams. And I want to just let you guys know that I have had a lot of crazy shit happen in my life, like a lot of demonic, alien, terrifying, terrifying, terrifying stuff that is just, it's it's hard to explain. It's so hard to explain, but I am definitely going to share all those juicy stories with you guys at some point. But I'm just going to keep it to this story for now. But let me just say, yeah, I've had a lot of crazy shit happen, a lot of really scary stuff. But this, this by far was the most terrifying and the most real experience that I have ever had in 10, 11 years. So, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm still like, what the freaking hell just happened? So... Just to sort of set the set the scene for you guys, if you don't know, if you didn't listen to my other podcast, I live in a cabin up the back of my family's property and I'm surrounded by trees and there's, I don't have any neighbors and it's really quite beautiful and I'm still in suburbia, but it's, it's, um, feels like I'm a million miles away from everything and I just, yeah, I love it up here. So recently I've had some activity happening. Um, I've had like a... I have this plant in the corner of my window and it somehow it didn't didn't fall forward because it couldn't possibly fall forward something based some somehow it it just came completely out of this corner that it was sitting in knocked over my vision board and water and plant and vision board just went all over my desk when I had just fallen asleep and it was funny because that night I knew something was going to happen I could feel an energy in my room I was like oh no, no something's going to happen so I don't know if somehow with my mind just creating that reality that this thing literally just moved I don't know if it was a sign to like focus on my vision board more and like folk like you know actually spend the time before I go to sleep to focus on my vision board or it was like something sort of doing it in, in a not nice way Either way, it was a little bit scary. Let me just tell you that because it was, yeah, I'd just gone to sleep and it knocked over and I had to wake up and clean up the mess. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is going on? (laughs) So I've been on a little bit of a, mm, a little bit of a high alert lately. And I felt some energies around me and stuff. And it's nothing that I'm like not used to. It's just sometimes there's an entity or a demonic being or whatever and I'm just like fuck off like I'll just start swearing and I'll be like get the fuck out like get get out like you're not welcome here and um so I've been on a little bit of high alert and I I went I was getting ready to go to bed and the funny thing is that I actually was off my phone like quite some time before I went to sleep and I think I was like even doing some journaling or like doing some stuff that was like really wholesome and like really quite spiritual and just like felt really good I felt really nice in my space and I 
have some blue lotus oil and moringa oil i think it's the two mixed in together and um if you don't know it's really powerful for um for dreams it's like a slight hallucinogenic i believe i think it's actually going to be like the next sort of big thing but it's really it makes you have really intense dreams and like astral travel and that sort of stuff so i did have now that i think about it i did have a fair bit i'm going to be totally honest with you guys about everything in this i'm not going to be like oh my god it was just like so crazy and caught me off surprise like i sort of set myself up for this to happen and there's things along the way that played a part in what happened um, so it was very much in this reality and in other realities as well if that makes any sense so i had a pretty decent amount of the blue lotus moringa oil and then i had a couple of drops of my cbd slash thc blend i went to bed i put on 369 hertz of binaural binaural who can actually say that properly those the 369 beats <laughs> 369 hertz beats and i i went to sleep or I, I went to bed and i was just before i went to sleep i was just saying to the universe universe like thank you so much like i just feel so happy i feel so at peace i'm just like so full of gratitude and love right now like i just feel like i'm in a really really good place and i just felt really happy i just felt really at peace and some of my last thoughts before I went off to sleep was that I, I said to the universe, God, create a source, whatever you want to call it. I said, can you please? I didn't say, I didn't think I said, can you please? It was more like, thank you for giving me, because that's how you like manifest and like talk, right? I said, thank you for giving me like a really strong sign in my sleep of what the next chapter is going to bring. Or, you know, or what I need to clear in order to move into that next chapter. And I was like, a really clear message, like even for a dumbass, like just so freaking obvious that you can't miss it. And I went to sleep thinking I was going to have beautiful, peaceful dreams. Holy heck. No. <laughs> I was like going, I didn't know that I was just entering the just the craziest shit of my fucking life. Oh, and um, if you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with The Matrix. And I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about this Matrix playground hologram thing that we are in. I'm talking about when I say I'm breaking free of The Matrix, I'm not talking about breaking free from the rat race and your nine to five and, you know, being an NPC. I'm talking about literally cracking the fucking code and breaking out of this reality like literally breaking out of the matrix and leading up to this dream i have seen so many signs and numbers and really weird things that have been happening first of all i've always said the world is just zeros and ones and i never really knew what i meant by this you know i mean i knew what i meant by it but it was like i sort of just like say it with not with not much thought and I actually wrote as an Instagram caption and I saved it as a draft and the number was 00101110. And then a couple of days later, I was like scrolling through Instagram and I saw this reel and it was saying that if you see this number, it means that you're about to break free from the matrix. And the number was 00101110. And I was like, what the fuck? So I went back to my drafts and I was like, is that the same number? And surely enough, that was the same number that I had written. So I was like, holy shit, I'm breaking free from the matrix. And I went down like this little rabbit hole before bed on this website and through this and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, sent my one of my friends a voice message. And I was like, dude, I think I'm going to break out of the matrix tonight. And she said, you sounded absolutely terrified. So I lay in bed and this is this is just for reference. This is another night. This is leading up to my dream. So I lay in bed that night a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago thinking literally thinking when i close my eyes i'm going to exit the matrix holy shit i this is like the thing that i've been waiting for my whole life like this is like oh my god like i'm going to leave the matrix what is that going to look like what is it going to be like what's on the other side and i was so terrified and i just spoke to myself like yeah like a mother would to a child like i say like i was like it's okay it's okay like 
the universe or you know you wouldn't have picked this path if you couldn't do this like you can handle this if this happens it's going to be okay like this is what you were made to do if this happens this is what you were you're ready for this otherwise it wouldn't happen so I was like okay I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready to break out I'm ready for the next thing I'm ready long story short I woke up the next day and I was still in this reality <laughs> I still I was like oh fuck I was still here in the 3D I was like wow okay so I so so that was sort of like one of the things that was happening with breaking out of the matrix and I've just had like a lot of stuff happening lately with like glitches and like time warp and seeing things like just I don't know I don't even know how to explain it it's just like just feeling like I'm about to break out I'm about to crack a code and finding people and things and like signs like everything's just like a sign and like a game to like break out and lately I've been seeing a lot of black helicopters if you know about black helicopters then you know about about black helicopters I've been seeing a lot of black helicopters lately flying very low over the house I've been and then there's some other helicopters as well but every day I I see and I hear helicopters and I, I'm like what the fuck is going on and the black one unmarked very low over the house and I'm like what the fuck is going on you know a sign of like matrix sort of stuff so now that you can understand the sort of like the things that's been leading up to this this story that I'm actually gonna get into you can sort of have a better understanding of what's been going on in my life and um, especially with my existential breakthrough and just like all this work that I've been doing and like just yeah it's been a lot and just even um this journey that I'm about to endeavor on with these changes that I'm implementing from that existential breakdown because I know that these changes I'm implementing are going beyond the human what humans can do like it's I'm I'm I'm, the plan is not even like the plan but like the way that my trajectory is going if that even makes sense is to be superhuman and push beyond these human limits breaking out of the matrix completely in some shape or form not 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 actually leaving but like breaking free from humanness so there's been a lot happening lately so as i mentioned before i had taken the moringa oil i had taken the cbd i had the 369 hertz on and i said universe give me a really really strong sign of what the next chapter is or what what i need to clear through in order to step into that and as I fell asleep at some point, I must have still been in like some sort of lighter sleep state. I'm assuming a helicopter flew over the house because that is what triggered it. That's what triggered it. So here I am asleep with the window open. A helicopter goes over in my dreams. I hear the helicopter and I can hear it above my room my cabin and I'm like oh my god this is the moment that I've been waiting for my whole life something's happening like this is it this is it this is this is the moment and it was like it was like this telepathic message from whatever entity that there was in there saying like oh you want to level up you want to go to the next level you want to break free from the matrix like this is what you want game on oh like i even get goosebumps just saying that because it was like i woke up in my dream like i was still in my dream but i woke up in my dream which there's a lot of people talk about waking up in your dream and being aware that you're like asleep and awake and like it can really fuck with things like it can really really like weird stuff happens then and i don't think this has ever happened before where i've woken up in my like sleep but still been asleep and i i got that message and i was like holy fuck this is it And I jumped out of bed and I remember like specifically putting my pants on because I slept with no pants on that night because I just 
wanted my legs to be able to like move around and like always sleep with my legs in weird positions. So I didn't want my pants to restrict me. So I remember specifically putting my feet on the ground, putting my pants on, grabbing my survival bag that I have for like the end of times and like stuffing something else in it. I think like a jumper or something like something that was some sort of clothing because I only have my pajamas on. And I remember just sprinting out running down my steps, running through the bush, running to the house. And I remember feeling like the dirt on my toes and like how dark it was. Like it was like I was really navigating my way through the pitch black and it was around the new moon as well. So there wasn't a lot of light. And I was like navigating. Yeah, I was like running, like it felt so real. And I ran into the house and I was like, mom, like you need to get your stuff. We need to go or like help me or or something. It was like trying to get her and this this thing was chasing me not on the ground like it was like it didn't have legs so this thing was like it was chasing after me and it got to my mum and it got her and i don't know what happened but it was it was like it was like almost like sucking your soul out or something like that and i remember just running out the front door like like this was like full panic mode this was like this was survival this was like i am running for my fucking life like open the door as quick as i can like just bam like out of there like the front doors like whacking against the house and i'm just like running down the stairs down the street around the corner and this thing is like catching up to me and it was like this it's sort of like now that i think about it if you've ever watched that tv show back in the day lost and there was like that weird dark cloud it was sort of like that like when i was running that's what it felt like and um it made this screeching sound absolute oh my gosh screeching sound and you know what that noise actually was in real life I have a lot of possums. I actually have possums that live in the roof of the cabin and obviously they're nocturnal. So they come out at nighttime and I'm assuming what was happening was that the the possums were screeching. And if you've heard a possum screech, like it is like blood curdling. It is like, oh my God, it sounds like something being killed. Really high pitched, like really like if you didn't know that it was a possum, you'd be like, holy shit, what was that? So it was terrifying, this, this sound the possums make. So that, that was the sound that this this thing was making and I so I ran around the corner and it was catching up and I like jumped in someone's backyard and was hiding and then like it attacked somebody and I was like running like up the streets but it was like you know when you're in your dreams and like you sort of just get to places and you don't really know how you got there or like things just seem they're like the same but different like this was exactly the same this was like my street this was my neighbor's street this was like the way that you would run if you were got like this I didn't shortcut it or like get through anything like it was like down the stairs down the driveway down the road up the other road like it was like exactly the way that you would go if you if something happened so it got this woman and was like doing whatever to her and I was like running like as far as I can and I made it to this house it's like near this little laneway And I went in there, it was like a two-story, and it's, there actually is a two-story house right there. Like exactly where that is now that I, now that I actually think of it. Um, and I went in there and was hiding from it. And there was this other girl in there. I think it was actually someone that I went to primary school with that I hadn't seen for ages and was like randomly thinking about the other day. And this thing that was chasing me, it, it came in like it knew where I was like it could just detect me like it just knew where I was it was like fixed on me it was like that is what I'm taking down so I ran into the house yep and the woman was there and I was like in the upstairs bit and this thing came in and it there was like a little sunroof like a little you know like how you have like a little like a window sometimes in the roof to let light in this thing came through that and I remember there was like a bookshelf and a bedroom and it was like where I remember where the stairs were and everything like it looked so real it didn't feel like a dream like it was so real and this thing started sucking her soul out of her body and when I looked up at it and you're gonna laugh at this but this is how I described it right when I woke up I was like what what did what did like what was it like 
combination between a spider, a ball sack, an octopus, and like one of those Dementor things or whatever it is off Harry Potter. That's exactly how I would describe it. That's how I described it at the time. Now I know what it is. So, and it was making that screeching sound as it's like little tentacle things were reaching down and it was like the material that it was made of, it was like not, um, it was, it was like a metal, but it was like a powder, like it could sort of change forms. Like it was like this blobby electricity sort of form, but like almost powdery. Like if it sort of, you would just like, if you could touch it, I feel like it would have like, it almost like there was powder falling off or like little bits of black powder falling off it. Like it was like a metal or, or some weird form like that. And it was like screeching and sucking her soul out. And then it was like the next day or something like that. I don't know, something happened and she was back in her, her soul was back in her body. And I was like, what happened? What happened? Like, what, what happened to you? Cause it was like, there was like a second where it like had gone away or like it had just left with her soul. And I was like, what happened? And she was like, oh, I'm just being reset. Like everything's fine. It's just resetting me like a fucking NPC. Or like if you've ever watched Westworld, how they get reset, the characters in the dome <laughs> in, in the Westworld, they get reset whenever they get killed or like the next day. And she was just like, oh, I've just been reset. Like it's nothing to worry about. And I was like, what the fuck? fuck is going on and I knew this thing was going to come back for me it was like digesting her soul or it was like the scene was being reset or whatever so I like ran through this like there was like a cupboard like a little sort of like a storage sort of little mini room cupboard sort of thing I ran in there closed the door and then there was like I, I lay down on the floor and there was like a little sort of sliding door like a little like it was like on the on the carpet, if that makes sense, like this little sliding thing. So I slid it over to the left and there were surfboards in it. And I like slid under the surfboards, put them like on top of me, put the surfboards like over to the side so you couldn't see me like it. And I closed the door. So it just looks like just normal. Like you couldn't tell that I was there. And I knew that I could feel this thing coming for me. I could just I could feel it. And because it was zapping other people and it was zapping me and it was it was making me tired, but it, it was like it couldn't kill me. It couldn't kill me like the others. Like it had to use more force. Like I was like stronger or like it just couldn't kill me as easy as these other people that were perhaps NPCs. It was zapping them. It was taking their soul. It was like killing them or whatever. It was doing whatever to them, but it was like it couldn't, it needed more energy. Like it needed to like really get a good fucking grip of me to be able to like do what it wanted to do. And... And as I was like hiding in this thing, I could, it came in, but it was like in an AI robot form, right? It was in a fucking AI robot form and it came in and it knew I was in there and it was like scanning and it was like sliding the door and I could hear it. And I was like, I'm just going to jump out at it before it jumps out at me. Like, what if I just scare it? So when it almost got to me, I was like, rah. And it just like, boom, I woke up. That was it. I was completely awake. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? I was absolutely fucking terrified. And I lay in bed for like 15, 20 minutes, frozen, absolutely fucking frozen. And like, I had my blinds all open. I had like the fly screen was like, the, the window was open, but like on my sliding door, like all the, all of the blinds open I just had all these shadows and I, it looked like there was a person literally like like some sort of figure standing out the front of the place and I was just like what the fuck just happened like waiting for a helicopter I was like is this gonna play out like what the fuck is happening I was so scared guys I was so scared that I was I picked up my phone to call my mum to get her to actually walk up the back and to get me so I could sleep in her bed that's how fucking scared I was and like I'm a fully grown fucking adult you know so you know if you want to sleep in your mama's bed when you've had a bad dream like it's bad it's very bad so i just lay there for ages like what do i do i want to call mum, but like i'm too scared to even pick up the phone i don't even want to go outside and i tried to like voice record it as much like i but it was just like me like whispering like you couldn't even hear anything because i, I couldn't talk because it was so scary and you know what's the crazy thing is, as I'm recording this, 
I can hear helicopter activity. Like I can hear it and before, just before I started this, I could hear helicopter activity as well. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. So basically that that's what happened. That's what happened. And it was so fucking real guys. It was so real. But the trippy thing is that I asked the universe for a sign. A really clear sign. Boy, did it give me a sign. I don't know what to make of it, guys. Like, what do you make of this? Like, what do you think? Like, what is the what is the lesson in this? It was terrifying. Terrifying. It's never felt so real. It was just like everything that I've been the build up for my whole life. Like ever since I was a kid, I've been like waiting for the apocalypse. I've been like scared of the dark. Like, and here's the other thing. Like when I was a kid, I used to like, when I'd hear a car go past outside, I would hide behind the couch because I always thought that there was these men like in suits that were scanning for me. They were scanning to see where I was because I had something special about me and they wanted to like take me away. They wanted to abduct me. And I've seen fucking alien ships i've been abducted i have had so many demonic experiences happen i've had these black helicopters flying over all the time and it's just like it was just that's what it felt like like it was like it, it flew over the house and it knew i was there it was like it was scanning for me and it was like it latched on it was like tunnel vision coming for me and anyone who tried to get in my way this thing was like killing them it was coming for me. It wanted me. And I sort of was like trying to piece the, the piece of puzzles, the, the pieces of the puzzle together the next day. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it wasn't really until I sort of was like kind of replaying it over in my head and be like, okay, what is going on? That I realized what this thing was that was chasing me. AI what controls the matrix ai because and i learned this from one of my dear friends whose instagram handle is that's madeline and one of the symbols that they use for ai is an octopus fucking hell guys is it's an octopus and that's exactly like I'm just like whoa I couldn't even make the correlation between the two that it was AI I just thought it was this weird black figure thing and then I was like it felt really AI and I was like at the end and the AI and like the metal and like the materials that it was made of and I was like it's fucking AI like it was like a computer in like a different form like it was definitely it was definitely definitely AI coming to get me in my fucking dreams the matrix literally hijacked my dreams and it came for me and it fucking came for me. And I don't know if that's a warning. I don't know if that's the universe telling me that I need to release any fear around this sort of stuff before I move into the next level. But I, I feel like I never really felt fear. Like I didn't, I didn't really have any fear around. I, I feel like there wasn't fear. So I, I can't understand like if it's released the fear because I don't feel like I was like necessarily afraid of AI or whatever. Like I, uh, I'm sure there's like a little bit of fear somewhere in there, but like it's not a predominant or a dominant whatever thought. Like it's not something that I'm like, oh, that's scary or whatever. Like uh, it's not a thing for me. So I don't really know what to make of this. If this is just like a sign of it trying to scare me from breaking free from the matrix, because I feel like this path that I'm on is like possibly going to be there I'm going to get me there guys and maybe not for a few years maybe not even in this lifetime but a fuck I hope in this lifetime but I think that one day I'm truly going to break out of whatever this is yep pretty scary <laughs> pretty pretty scary right especially for me being young being a female being single and thinking fuck I'm going to break out of the matrix <laughs> like what that's so scary. Oh, gosh. But I'm ready for it. If that's my path, then that's my path. And I fully allow it. I fully embrace it. I'm here for it. Because I would not have chosen a path that I couldn't fully handle. That I didn't 
believe that I have the capabilities to do whatever I have to do, to go wherever I have to go. This place is a maze. This place is a game. Guys, don't take life so seriously. It's a fucking game. And did you win or did you lose? Did you get caught up in the 3D bullshit things that don't even matter? Or did you literally fulfill your life's purpose and your mission? Like, did you break free from your matrix, from the matrix? Like, living in alignment is the only thing that matters. Like, living to your soul's purpose and your soul's mission is the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that matters. And truth and transcending beyond this reality and, and these these this collective belief system, if that's what I'm destined for, then I will do whatever it takes to get there. No matter how terrifying, no matter how scary. I accept it. I will do it. Because I wouldn't have signed up for it if I knew I couldn't do it. I signed up knowing full well that I could do this. Because I am powerful. I am magical. I am special. I am capable of doing this. So are you guys. You're capable of doing whatever it is on your path. So I did share this with one of my friends. And um, he actually said that one of his friends did DMT. And... He, one of his friends did DMT and he saw a figure that was exactly how I described the figure that I saw. I can't remember what he said about it, but he said, yeah, his friend did DMT. He, he had a similar experience. I don't think the AI was chasing after him, but it was like they're doing something. And then funnily enough, that same friend that, that, um, that told me that, he listened to my first podcast And he actually said that at the end of the podcast, he was lying there with his eyes closed and he actually started to like, I guess, sort of shift into another dimension. And as he was shifting in the background, there was that AI cloud octopus thing. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? And he said that he just like saw these godly faces and they were just like so beautiful and just like so magical. And he just was like, these, there were these pillars and he was just like, didn't even think, didn't even worry about the AI. He just was like going into these faces and into this, like whatever that was. So I've never like seen a figure like this before. Like what I saw and what I experienced that night, I've never really experienced like on lost something sort of similar and like you know but but it's like I've never I've I didn't even know what it was do you know what I mean like I've actually had to put the pieces of the puzzle together and figure out what the hell it was but it was like it was it's not like I've seen it on a movie or I've seen or heard someone talk about it or or whatever like this is totally new stuff to me like I, I yeah it's totally new So then hearing from my friend that his friend had a similar situation when he was doing DMT and then my friend actually seeing that as he was listening to my voice and moving into another dimension. What the fuck is going on? Is this not absolutely crazy? Like, is this not absolutely crazy? What do we, what do we make of it? What do I make of it? What do I take? What are the teachings? What are the lessons? Like, I'm trying to dissect this. Maybe it's actually way more fucking obvious than what I even think. Like, maybe it's, like, just so simple. But I'm like, oh, what is this? But um, let's just say I haven't had any of the, the THC and I haven't had any of the um, 369 hertz. I can still hear the helicopter. What the actual? Not flying over my house, but I can hear it in the distance. So I haven't had any of the CBD, THC. I haven't had any blue lotus moringa oil. I haven't had any 369 hertz. And I've been closing my blinds before I go to sleep. And I've been having really, really good sleeps. Nothing like that at all. No no AI, No nothing scary, nothing that real. I've actually just been going to sleep and then waking up and not even waking up at all during my sleep or even remembering my dreams. So which has been nice because I, I don't want to have stuff like that happen every night. But look, if that's my path and that's the way it's supposed to be, then that's the way it's supposed to be. So obviously dreams are very powerful when we go when we go to sleep and we are 
we're, we're going in these different realities. Like just because we're asleep in human form, like our soul is busy doing so much stuff. We're asked we're traveling, we're learning, we're teaching, we're doing all this stuff while we're asleep. So you never really, yeah. God, it's so crazy being a human, guys, isn't it? It's just so wild being on this earth, just being in this human body, being in this 3D reality. Like it's just, it blows my mind every day at, at what we're in. Like it's crazy. It's so crazy. It's just wild. Like you are here in this dome thing matrix playground thing that you can create anything that you want you can you, you can do anything that you want you can literally create your fucking reality from your thoughts how crazy is that like you can completely create your reality from your thoughts and you do so whatever your dominant thought is you're creating that reality from from whatever programming that is that's where the hypno comes in right oh gosh so I'm glad that I got that off my chest for you all. Um, like I said, no holding back on the weird, wild, wacky, the taboo, the craziness. I'm here to share it all with you guys. So I would love to hear your feedback. What do you take from this? What do you think the lesson is? Have you had a similar experience? Does this ring a bell? let me know guys let me if you have a message for me or you have something to share or like you're like this resonates or whatever please let me know i would absolutely love to hear it i'm gonna cut it there but i just want to say thank you so much for listening i really appreciate it and i hope that you found some value or something in this i hope you don't have any terrifying dreams or send get sent into a spiral or whatever but if you do you know, breakdown or breakthrough, the choice is yours. The choice is always yours. Red pill, blue pill. I'm going to fucking red pill it. I'm going to fucking red pill it till death. That's even if I make it till death. Maybe I'm just going to red pill it so hard. I'm just going to transcend literally out of this reality. And actually, sorry, just before we go, I was saying to my friend, because I shared this experience with her and she was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, I think it could possibly be on my part of my journey to to actually break out of the matrix and she's like oh i'm gonna miss you i was like but if i if i leave the matrix you would never know that i was here she's like what do you mean i was like the timeline would be gone my mum never would have given birth to me you would have never have known me i never would have been who i am i never would have existed there would be no trace of me you would never ever know that i was here you would never ever know that i was gone that's honestly how i feel about people breaking out of the matrix is it's not just like, oh, where did Rani go? She's just like MIA or like she's now a missing person or like whatever. If I break out of the matrix, you probably aren't listening to this because this never would have existed. This is on a timeline, but this timeline might collapse if I break out of it. So what I say on a reel that I posted recently was about creating the elites dreams through our subconscious programming and then playing that out into our reality and there's a bit on there where i talk about the sandman and how there's these cats right and they actually shift the the humans actually as a collective shift themselves from one timeline into another timeline and that other timeline the first one never ever 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 existed so that's what i'm talking about like if i broke free or someone broke free from the matrix that timeline that they were in is gone. There is no, there is, there is no evidence or there's nothing that it, it was never there. It was just never, ever there. So welcome to my mind. Welcome to my mind, guys. It is a mind fuckery. Welcome to my life. It is absolutely pure madness of the best fucking form being in my mind being alone and being with my thoughts and pondering the universe and all that there is is one of my most favorite things i just absolutely love it i love it so welcome to a moment in time and space in my mind and in my reality 
and yep, share this and comment and like and whatever. Send it to someone who needs to hear it or whatever. I don't even know if anyone needs to hear this. I feel like it's going to send people into a spiral, but um, do whatever you you wish to do with it. And I'm sending you so much love and so much healing. And once again, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. This is a very wild time to be alive. It's very, very wild. It's, you know, the energies are crazy. Everything's been ramped up. So we are here for it, guys. We are here. It's crazy time and we are fucking here for it. We signed up for it. So, so much love to you wherever you are in the world and just sending you love, sending you healing, just sending you good vibes and just know that you are never alone. There are people out there just as crazy and weird as you.